Hey everybody, Steve here with Val's on the camera. I'm um, going to try doing these toasted raviolis. They're four cheese. Um, we kind of got hooked on them in a restaurant, but they, they had like, well, they had a jalapeno cheese inside of them, didn't they? Yeah, I think maybe. So, <clears throat> we've done them in the oven. The, they're not quite as good as when you cook them in oil, and we're trying to stay away from oil, so we're going to try the air fryer. We figure if it makes pizza taste crunchy, maybe it'll make it uh, crunchy. Spread the basket with a little pan, set the basket back in there, just like that. That's it. Yep. And this says 400, six to seven minutes, so... We're going to put six minutes on it and see what happens. That's the worst that can happen. It burns up. Right? So I was out of town last week on uh, doing some training. It was good training, but while I was up there, I was watching this info commercial on TV. Because I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a big go out, going out drinking guy and I go out and eat and go back to the room and watch TV but they were watching this infomercial they have air fryer ovens now and we can actually get a whole pizza in there and bake a whole pizza we're going to try this ravioli in the air fryer I'm thinking that they're going to turn out pretty good is that enough for us you want some, right? You want some more than that? Do yes, the whole bag? The bag? Put the whole bag in. Val put says do the whole bag. We'll have leftovers. Yeah, we'll do the whole bag. <clears throat> so, there we have it. I'm going to turn it on. Set the timer for six minutes. Six minutes. All right. All right. Two. And Maybe while it's second. cooking, I'm going to warm a little can of sauce. You're going to want some sauce. Sweet. So we're going to dip it in it. All right. Catch you in a few minutes. All right. Again, we're doing these four cheese uh, raviolis, toasted raviolis. We got hooked on them at a restaurant one time. Um, so whenever Val goes out she sees them, she'll, she'll pick them up. Uh, the convection oven said six to seven minutes. A conventional oven says eight to ten. Uh, with our tea fowl being as we did so many, Probably if we didn't have the whole box in there, it probably wouldn't have taken as long. But we did the whole box in the tea fowl. Um, you can see they're, they're crisped up really nice. Um, they started to ooze out a little bit. That was 10 minutes. We kind of probably could have got away with nine and a half, nine minutes. So we're going to let these cool a little bit. Val's going to finish up the sauce, and then we'll go ahead and give, a, give you all a taste test. Okay. And this is the sauce. So all I did was open a can of tomato sauce, a regular can of tomato sauce. Add a little pepper and some Italian spices in it and called it a day. Um, I didn't open a can of uh, my spaghetti sauce, the homemade spaghetti sauce, because we don't really need that much. We just need a little bit. So that's what the sauce is. Uh, we'll be back to, to give it a test in just about a minute or so. All right, they've been cooling for a little while. You know, three, four, five minutes maybe. We left them cool. Val's got her sauce mix made up. So go ahead and give it a taste test. Oh, it's crunchy. Nice and crisp and crunchy. I can hear the crunch. There you go. It's good. It's good. Yeah, you want one? Yeah, I'm going to get one. Okay. Go All on. right. All right. Give it a try sometime. Tell us what you think. We really like them. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and like and shoot us a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye now.